For me, I can't wait for Tarantino to do a crowdfund campaign. I can't wait for George Clooney to do a crowdfund campaign. It's like, you know, those people should be doing, you know, I want Tarantino to finance his next film, you know, through a crowdfund campaign. Why not? You know, and I think he would do, he potentially could do some really interesting things that, and he has an audience base that will do it, that will engage with him. And, um, you know, and I think you're going to start, I hope you start seeing bigger and bigger filmmakers and personalities start to do it. And then part of that is not just that people get used to Kickstarter, but in terms of giving over money, but that they get used to the kinds of experiences that they can expect or can engage with through Kickstarter. And then that opens up their possibilities in, in a sense, their, their minds as audience members as to what's possible. And then hopefully that will then encourage other filmmakers to do or other artists to do similar kinds of things, which just expands the possibilities. You know, for me, it's important at this time to think about expansion as opposed to contraction. You know, and for people to complain about Zach Braff, it's about contraction. You know, let's keep this little thing for our club, you know, and to me that never works, you know, and because then that's the, that's the death of a culture in a sense when you try to keep it only for the select few. You know, I'm not saying that you want to purposefully promote it to the mass, but if you try to constrict it, that I think causes issues. And to be honest, it's not about what are we looking at, it's about finance, you know, and is finance really, you know, ever anything about some select club? I mean, you know, I think that those people who complain about Zach Braff should be more concerned with making better art.